Today we are using machine learning to predict League of Legends world standing. Are you ready to rise and shine? Stay tuned to the end of the episode. Okay, no more jokes, we can start. Let me start coding. I will define our algorithm, which will be called gradient descent. Gradient descent is used to find the minimum between your predicted value and the real value which we have stored into that y dependent variable. I will show you quickly. This is the y, the dependent variable we want to predict. And this is the input features which has impact on our result, like what we want to predict. Let me continue. As arguments for this function, I will put here the features, the dependent variable, the theta, that's are the coefficient to measure the impact of every feature then the alpha which will be the learning rate we cannot go to the minimum and just jump to other side we will be slowly decreasing to the minimum which every iteration that means the last one is iterations there will be number of iteration we will use in this function i will define m as a number of dependent variables it means number of samples we got and also the j history it will be used for checking if after every iteration we are getting closer and closer to the minimum and for the algorithm i will use simple for loop or y in range iterations I will make hypothesis np dot dot x data and what's that hypothesis will be the predicted value numpy dot dot are making dot product that means multiplication of two matrices and hypothesis will be the predict for every sample we got as an input and I hope you understand the matrix multiplication, but if not, there is a picture. You are multiplying two matrices, the first row from the first one and first column from the second one, and you got one result as you see here. You will multiply first number in the first row with the first number in the first column plus the second number in the first row multiplied by the second number in the first column and so on and so on and you will get one number and for the second number you will multiply the first row with the second column and so on i think you got it now so the hypothesis will be our predicted y the predicted result loss will be difference between hypothesis and the real result we have stored in the y variable the next thing is the gradient gradient is like multi-dimensional slope where is our feature going and we need to go the other way to alter the coefficient to make the prediction closer to the real value this is done also with the numpy that dot x transform and the loss divided by number of samples this is simply it is a derivation of every feature after we got the gradient the way where to go like up we need to go to the opposite way to minimize the cost function i will say what is cost function in few seconds the data will be data minus the learning rate multiplied by the way where to go and the cost function is the sum of all the distances from the real values. Do not overthink this, this is just the equation for counting the sum of the distances. That's all. Now, after every iteration, we will add cost function to the j history to check if we are getting closer to the minimum of the all distances history append cost and we will 
print out this J history and return the data because we need to get the coefficient that have the impact to predict from the input features to the result and we need to do it for the new values not only for our values print yeah uh, i already printed out the j history so return data this is the part we are testing if our algorithm is working i will define the data as a numpy array with all the zeros from the start every feature will be like have zero impact on the result we need some starting point for our coefficient so i will define theta with the series of zero zeros with the shape of the input this is just a convention for this to start with zeros do not overthink that i said it already this is our starting data and we will put this data into the algorithm and we will got a new data after the all iterations i will call the gradient distance put there x y the starting data alpha, alpha the learning rate will be 0.01 another convention and the iterations i will use 50 iterations before running the code i will just print out the optimized values of our coefficient print optimized data like this will be the data this and run the code this is our optimized data as you can see the first feature has the biggest impact of the on the result but there is one problem that i see right now it will be increasing so fast in the future if we put more iteration i will normalize the data after the algorithm but that's okay right now and uh, here in this list are the cost function after every iteration as you can see the first cost function was 37 point something and it is decreasing with every iteration as we are continuing with the iterations the decrease is also decreasing we are slowly getting to the minimum to the theoretical minimum and the distance between the predicted values are getting closer to the real values not only the labeled dependent variables what we got but also the future dependent variables what we will predict we are trying to predict new values with this algorithm i will show you in the testing of accuracy is our algorithm working well that's the question let's find out before that let me just normalize the data i will divide every value with the max value of all the datas so numpy.max from data and normalized data is equal to the list every value divided by data max for value in data print out normalize normalized data is equal to normalized data when i run the code you can see there is no you cannot see it you can see it right now that the data is normalized from 0 to 1 okay let's move on next part is checking the accuracy for checking the accuracy i will just copy this data set we we train the model on the 2022 data and we are checking it on the 2023 data yeah this is our data there are eight teams this is the stats from regular season it is data zero the first column the win rate the wins loses gpm both per minute and standing these are the stats from the regular seasons and we are predicting the world final standing from the last mile we all know how it ended 
So let's check if our model is working. I copied this data set from the code because I don't want to write just numbers. You can, as I mentioned, you can find out everything in the GitHub repository. Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. Now we are, we will be multiplying the coefficient with the values in this data set. Firstly, I will change it to the NumPy result checking data is equal to NumPy array from the result checking data. And now the multiplication part, I will multiply result is equal to NumPy result checking data all the rows but not the first column because i think it will add the same value to every result so why would i multiply the first column multiplied by the theta and i will also dismiss the first value because i deleted the first column that's it and i will print print out the multiply result I'll print multiply the result I will showcase that everything should be working just fine yeah these are the results and we need to sum up the values and I realized in the middle of the project that it is not good idea to predict standing with regression because you will get values and you need to sort them after it so but whatever uh you are learning by mistakes so we we will sum up the values in the rows and the highest value from the row will decide not one highest value but the sums of the rows will decide which team will perform better or worse so sum per row will be also the numpy array numpy array multiplied result and not numpy array it will be numpy array but i need to sum the rows so axis is equal to one now we have the sum of the rows i will print out the um not pair for each row is equal to that sum and per row and this is so difficult i don't want to make another file then read from date and it, that's not why i'm doing this project just to make it simplified i will count the values just like this like i don't want to use another tool programming tool to make it even more confusing so bring out the results and here are the sums and the, this team will perform the most the the best this team will perform the best it is the genji here i have the results the results are i will just copy it here okay the results are here three this is the third one the fourth one the sixth the seventh the second first fifth and eighth it is the order from our input features like this so the first one will end up the genji as you can see I will, I will just take here copy this put this here and this is our accuracy the billy billy should end it third jdg fourth weibo six t1 seventh kt second genji first lng fifth and rng eight so if we look at the real standing we know we all know t1 won that not very accurate but billy g and jdg and it third and fourth so it is maybe that wrong algorithm and lng and it fifth yeah they did rng and it eight but weibo and t1 was in finals so it's like a little bit not good and genji also didn't won so overall the multivariant linear regression is working but it has not very good generalization for our problem but we made it so far and we 
we can make the history just we need to keep moving forward don't give up we will make better and more accurate algorithm in the futures if you enjoyed this series as a whole let me know in the comment section smash the subscribe button and have a wonderful day peace